This is game two, hand one. We have the eight of diamonds and the ace of clubs. <clears throat> We're sitting in the uh, big blind. Everyone has put in uh, $5 uh, ante, uh, which totals $35 in the middle of the table there. <clears throat> and the blinds are $20 and $40. Let's see what happens. We have a fold, a fold, a fold, a fold, and on the button, a call. <laughs> I think uh, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm carp on this all the time. Don't ever do that. Don't call the big blind. Uh, it's um, you're wasting you're wasting your chips because they're not accomplishing anything. And in this situation, especially from the button, uh, watch what happens here. The small blind, it only costs uh, $20 more for the small blind. How much does it cost me in the big blind to see the flop? It's free. I don't have to put in any, anything. I could just say check. So <clears throat> this is a courtesy that the player on the button has <laughs> uh, given me the, uh, the ability to see the flop for free. So um, if your first act, uh, pre-flop, uh, don't call the big blind, either fold or raise uh, from, from any position, but especially from the button. Okay, we get to see the flop for free. Let's see what comes. Okay, we have 10 of diamonds, ace of diamonds, and the four of spades. So I did connect with the flop very well because uh, I have top pair. Um, but assume, uh, assume for a second that I have 8-4. Uh, I'm holding 8-4. Uh, then the fours would have connected the lowest end of, of the flop. And... Uh, I always put out a, a half pot size bet regardless, whether I'm on the high end or the, or the slow end, uh, low end. Um, and, and that's what I do here um, be, because I connected with the flop, not because it's aces, okay? The, the, <clears throat> the rank of the card doesn't determine the size of my bet or whether or not I do bet. It's whether or not, whether or not I connect. And the reason why I do that is because, remember, I, I also harp on this all the time, that <laughs> you have to assume that your opponents are disappointed because they are most of the time. You can't fear um, that they have connected better than you have. Just assume that they have not and act accordingly. Um, you act strong regardless. Okay. So I've put out my half pot size bet. And uh, the player on the button calls. Okay. Well, maybe he's got a couple of diamonds in his hand and he's uh, going for a um, diamond flush. He's chasing or drawing, as we say. Uh, maybe he has... Uh, uh, a pair of fours in his hand and he's trapping me. You can't be afraid of your opponents trapping you. In the $1 uh, nine player sit and goes that I play, most of my opponents are not sophisticated enough to set traps, <laughs> okay? Once you move up to um, higher stakes, $3 and on, on up, uh, yeah, you're gonna get trapped a lot, but uh, not at this level. And also remember, I'm really not paying that much attention to the game. I'm usually doing something else. So all of my actions are automatic robotic uh, routine. And so he calls. That means, well, let's see what the small blind does. The small blind folds. That means we're going to see the turn. Okay. <laughs> um, because I do everything uh, routinely, um, it, is my, it is my routine that uh, if I uh, bet the flop and um, if I bet, if I bet pre-flop especially, but if I bet uh, uh, the flop, then I will bet the turn if I don't get any resistance, which, you know, so far I have not 
got any resistance. So I don't care what comes on the turn. Um, if it's a diamond, maybe I would be a little cautious. I don't know. I'm not really paying that much attention. But generally speaking, I'm planning to put out a bet uh, on the turn card. So let's see what it is. It's a king. Well, uh, I, I have said somewhere, maybe in the book, <laughs> um, especially if it's an ace or a king, um, uh, bet, the, bet the turn. Because if you're first act, by the way, if you're first act, bet the turn if you did bet the flop. Um, because you, you have acted strong so far, and you're, you just continue to act strong. Most of the time, your opponent is disappointed with the turn card. And, and that's the way I operate. So I put out my, my bet. It's uh, about half a yeah, half pot size bet. Let's see what my opponent does. He folds. And that's what they do most of the time. You can't be afraid that your opponent uh, is happy with the turn card. You have to assume that he's unhappy.